tip for the song is first right hand, B ring. It's coming from the chord, C chord. So you have to use this fingering to go fast and the next one is coming B, G, A, B, C, stepping up. So you have to remember. So you have to remember the right fingering. And then coming to this is a C chord again. And same note, repeat it and skip up to four and stepping down. So remember the pattern of the fingering. And the second line is the same way. Chord and stepping down or the five notes. And the next one is from the C chord inversion. And then stepping down and the key is changing to finger number three here. So you have to circle the finger number three so that it comes right away. And practice a couple of times so that you can come right away. That's the point of the right hand fingerings. And if we move it onto the second page, the right hand the same way. Skip. And from 4 to 1, you have to switch fast so that you can go again the same pattern as the second line. 3. So from finger number 4 to switching to 1, you have to squeeze your finger fast and aiming to the E right so it comes right away. And then the second thing is here, not finger number three with the E's, but finger number two here. Why? Because the next note is different chord. So the first pattern is you end with three, but the second pattern is you end with two. So you have to make sure this is on the right fingering. And then the next one. So this one. Practice a couple of times. It's kind of weird fingerings. This is F chord, and then after the C, 3. So you have to practice this part only. Right hand, and then 3. So you can go right away. Otherwise, it will not be perfect. So. Here, the fingering is really important. And then the next one is G, F. Make sure that your finger number four is hitting the right. So basically, fingering is very important for the right hand. And left hand is about the chord. fingering all the time. If you keep switching the fingering, that, that will be very confusing. 